Hey, what is up, everyone? Trifly Wirecry here. And wow, uh, part one got a really good response. I didn't think you'd get that many views. But I'm um, not complaining, I'm really happy. Now, just quickly look at the start Kendrick Perkins. Now, I am a Thunder fan, and he is a really good player, just like Soji Bucko. Good blocks. But I had a look at stats, and he's more of a defensive player. And um, at the end, I did say that I was going to um, showcase the players I've got. But I did sell some of the, not historic players, but like these players. But you can go back and see who I've got. Not all of them are good. But there are some hidden ones that I never knew that were good. I had a go with them in a game and then a bit of blacktop. And wow, I will say if they're good. And Kevin Duckworth. Now, he's a bit strange, but this is the weird thing, okay? So I've got Kendrick Perkins, 7.5k. So that's really good. Um, so yeah, just started off 50k. And I was like, wow, Kevin Duckworth. He must be really good in A minus. I think I think it's said on the inside. Now I'm not gonna say anything spoilery, but just 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 watch this pack after. So I'm doing my one purple pack method, three golds, clear out your, your whole lineup and everything. Look who I get. A Kevin Duckworth. Two Kevin Duckworths in a row. I was, I, I just like face palm so hard. I don't know why, but he's a good player, and I don't mind getting him twice. And as you see here. I'm kind of like, wow, really? Let, let me have a look at his stats. And this, he has a nice close and inside shot. And I, I don't think people look at this, but I go to the th uh, third page and look at their tendencies. And now there's this one person who I tried out who's really good. He has, I think, a 58 dunk. I think it was a 80 or 90 or 99 dunk tendency. And I was like, wow. Because when you look at it, they may have like 87 three point, but their tendency of getting them may not be as consistent so I always look at that for, for some odd reason like I look at the stats and then I have to look at that and they might be good they might not be as consistent <laughs> so yeah um but yeah I'm really pumped up the first episode went down well I got um Jeff Hall in a second good responses a good amount of views I got some good plays and definitely some lovely kits um I like the West uh, All Stars one and I do like the Miami white hot ki uh, white hot kit white hot jersey now as i said there white hot kit i apologize for saying kit all the time i mean jersey i do say jersey it's just when i'm commentating i can't correct myself because i like doing this one take it feels more <coughs> what's the word um not original but a bit more it keeps it in the flow like i don't want to stop i just want to keep on going um but yeah i got some really nice kits i got loads of um special attributes uh, stadiums or arenas even see I, I'm so used to England but yeah um, and players and the players I've got now the players that I got in part one wow I mean I've said it before and I'm gonna say again Jeff one a sec he and I, I've tried so many people on blacktop and not just because I've got him but I put up shot uh, I think it's shoot up create I'll shot up creator and wow, I cannot wait to see the space he creates. Now here I got da uh, David Wingate. He's an all right, another uh, Greg Popovich. Um, I like they give you like attributes like on FIFA. Um, but I decided. I think I got. I'm not going to tell you, but it's a bit lopsided. But it gives you more of an offensive awareness and less defense aw awareness. But yeah, um, it's really. Um, what's the word? I can't remember, but I'm just gonna say it's pretty cool that I'm getting all of these legends. Some I may not know, but the ones that I don't know, and that's a nice kit there, nice Philly kit. Um, but the ones I don't know, they tend to be the best. And I'll be honest, I didn't exactly know who Jeff Hornacek was, but after I looked him up, man, he was that bomb. So I put up a thing of shop creator, and I cannot wait to try him out on that. Um, he does hit probably 65, 70 percent of his threes down if I be um, sensible nice blazers kit but as you saw there now that was a player he's a very good I looked at stats Avery Bradley defensive awareness player now 11.8k I wouldn't say he's worth it because when you look into a shooting guard I say more of a shooting and passing role he can pass and he can shoot but I thought nope and so I did sell I think it was Kendrick Perkins and him um, to buy I think it was Ricky Rubio and JJ Barea because um, they're two really good uh, point guards, really nice point guards, good passing. And I did put, I think, Floor General on both of them, which I do think they do have default in the game. But I decided to put them on my team either way because they're point guards, they should have it. And 
my goodness, JJ Barea. He's exactly like Ricky Rubio, just a little lacking a bit of uh, pizzazz. But I think it's 10k cheaper. Like Rubio's 13, 14, JJ Barea's 3 to 4k. And wow, them two are really good. And with Horner set by the side, they're really good. Um, my big, uh, my big men, power forward. That's getting a lot better. Like my centers, they are um, slash power forward, so they can play that position as well. I've got a lot of centers in this video, which I was complaining. They're not gold, but they are really good. And small forwards, I still need to look for a small forward. Um, I can't remember who I have at the moment, but Gerald Green. Um, wow, well, he's good. I think he's 250k default, or maybe I know he's under 500. But uh, Javale McGee and him, they are really good for the price. I don't know why they're so low, um, but maybe they're just really bad in real life. I can't watch any of the games, but I do go on the NBA. Uh, YouTube as I think lots of people do and I don't have Sky Sports as well because my parents um, I think it's too expensive so I don't mind I still get to see what happens and I like watching the highlights anyway and here we get Corey Blount I think I say pronounce it and a nice Blazers kit as well um, I am kind of a Blazers fan but really it's only because Damien Lillard a nice rookie year he's having I looked at Blount he's not that wow but you know he's alright I checked him out on laptop but when I say I check him out I think it's at the bottom of the roster <laughs> so I just thought no um, but yeah I've been watching loads of Shake and Bake and I think this is what um, he kind of inspired me because he did these pack openings and I know loads of other people did or have done but the way he does his commentaries is really upbeat and it's just I think it's in one whole take and the way he does his pack openings he explains it because I think he's in America he does a lot he knows a lot but I tend to uh, like doing that as well and here we go, almost getting down to the halfway mark of part two. Um, still, I'm really happy with the players I've got. I couldn't have asked more. Maybe maybe a Shaquille O'Neal maybe would have settled it. Nah, but um, all I've got to do is glitch a bit more VC and I'll probably get maybe 15, 20k in a day. And speaking of getting 15, 20k in a day, I might start 20 or 25k or, or however much coins I can get in a day. Not daily packs, but maybe now and then each week so i might have a 25k pack opening uh one or two i might have to start a series like i might have to set it like wednesday pack openings or something like that so you guys can always expect a certain amount of coins pack openings at a certain day time maybe not because obviously i am in school but um i will try and be getting it around probably seven eight it's just been most people upload but i like uploading then because kind of chilled back kind of relaxed and in the uk here we've got nice sunny weather so you know it's um going all well having a bit of odd weather a bit of rain here and there but you know that's uk weather but yeah um i've got basketball hoop, hoop outside and i am five foot nine and no i cannot dunk no i'm not amazing but um, I can hit the three point uh, sometimes. Um, my free free throws are all right. Layups a bit shaky. Yeah, you know I can dunk. You know I do windmills, double clutches, tomahawks, all of that. No, but um, I'm only 13, so five four years time. I am doing some intense training. If you haven't uh, checked out D Storm's tr uh, workout videos, I'm doing them at the moment, and wow, they are a pain. Seriously. I can't believe all these guys that I'm getting, like even if they're seven foot, like and they can dunk. The training they've gone through, and you know everyone wants to be in the NBA, and I and I do. Um, I mean I really do, but um, sometimes you've got to be realistic, and you don't just go straight into the NBA unless you're really good. And I've got still four to five years to train, go to college, university, and that, and possibly move to America. Um, but I do really want to start um, to get. I say recognised because I'm only 13, but when I get older to be as good as I can and then be recognized. Like I see people with hoop mixes, I think it's on Yay Area's Finest and Hoop Mixes or something like that. It's really cool and thinking that some of these guys, if you look at them like a bronze uh, player, Ed Neely, you probably think, oh, he's crap. But in his time and as him himself, he was one of the best players. Because you want to think yourself as the best player, never set yourself short. And that's what I'm doing and it's been amazing like playing basketball like, I've played so many other sports tennis swimming football rugby all of them and I've been good at them all don't want to toot my own horn but yeah I just I really like basketball and I think I speak for most of you guys as well it's 
it takes, I say this, but it takes a lot more skill, because if you think in football, it's a kind of a smaller goal, if you know what I mean. And instead of just kicking a ball, you say just chucking the ball, but can you really just chuck a ball from the three point line when you've never played basketball score? I don't think so. In football, you can. All you got to do is just p roll the ball in. No offense to all the football players out there. I do play football myself. Um, but yeah, um, are we coming to the end of this video? I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys are wondering, but my mic is an Editor's Keys SL300 mic. Really nice mic, and I do normalize it. It is quiet, but I just normalize it. Um, it's a really nice mic, and a nice Cavaliers kit there as well. But yeah, my um, setup, if you guys are just wondering, if you are listening to this, my setup is the uh, Hopar HD PVR capture card. Um, it's really nice. Um, got the Xbox 360, no special ones. My Modern Warfare 3 one is downstairs. I just got the original one up here. Got a Sony TV, got an I am a monitor, got a. Uh, one of the newest Mac minis, and it's funny, I've got two staple centers in a row here, and I've got both staple centers. But yeah, I've got an Alienware, not sure which one, but big bad boy here. And yeah, it's just a really nice setup, and I do edit in iMovie, so nothing too, um, what's the word, special, like, fantastico. But yeah, it served me well, and I can't believe the actual response, like, before I'd probably get 1 to 10, but I got 50, and I'm like, wow, these pack opens, and... I, like what I did before my old channel, yes I did have an old channel, some of you didn't know because I just did pack openings on FIFA and yes they were fun but that was in a lot of my real money so I s decided to stop and save up and I have spent money on this but this was when I never saw this is like first time and I don't know why but it was from um, my nan giving me like a tenner so I just bought some marks points and got some but um, yeah this is a player Rick Mahorn He's on the right centre, see that's one of the centres, I think I've probably gone past a few centres, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, they are really nice uh, centres what I've been getting, but yeah, back to the uh, topic, excuse me, um, VC wise, um, my team, VC is not rare at all, you can buy so many packs, and that's why I'm going to start doing the schedule kind of thing, and I say packs as well, I do want to start doing actual gameplay videos i'm not using this as, as an excuse but it's coming here 2k14 as most people are aware i think it's october the first i'm not sure i might have just heard that but october somewhere i hope somewhere near that region month whatever but yeah i'm looking forward to that like it's a new whole fresh start um yeah six months into basketball loving it and and scott brooks as the manager that i'm using 5 plus offensive awareness and 3 plus defensive. Nice man, me kit. Uh, jersey, sorry, there as well. But uh, yeah, it's um, what was I talking about? Damn it, that distracted me, man. See, this is why I want to do it on the fly, it just keeps it more original. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really good uh, starting off basketball. And it feels this is what I was at. It feels like it's been a long time, long, long time. I've improved so much and if you think I've got five, I've got so many in me, but with basketball, when you get into that prime time of people looking at you, I've got five, six more years, and man, they're going to be some tough trainings, but it's all worth it in the end, and I love playing basketball. Each time I set, I set out onto the court, I just, it, it, it's just warm and cuddly. And there's Luther Rackley, eh. and another staple centre. Now, th this thing against uh, centres, nice, uh, I like it there, but people always get the A and AT and T center. I get the US Airways center so much, and I think you see here at the end. I think you do get a glimpse at uh, the players that I do get um, because I did had to quick sell, to find find something to sell quickly, and I quick sell the US Airways center because I know when I, and there's Daryl Dawkins as the center. He is a beast. He's another dunking machine. I love him so much. He's my starting center over McGee. But as I was saying, um. That was like the toughest kind of a uh, thing to get through because damn it, I lost where I was. See, I love doing this, keeping the flow because it because it keeps you reminding. But yeah, um, coming into the end of video here, getting these last players and the USA away center. See, now it comes back to me because if I try and if you try and think so hard to try and remember it, you just forget. But now I remember the USA aways. I just get it again and I just quick sell it. Um, because when I do these 25k pack opening kind of things, I'm probably going to be getting it each pack. So, yeah, coming into the end of the video here, guys, I just want to thank you for the response again. 
and please leave in the comments below uh, what you like and what you like to see because if you like this kind of commentary or do you want shorter videos or longer videos or do you want to keep like this or just something to zhuzh it up a bit space but yeah um thanks for watching guys and um, make sure to leave a comment uh, please like the video that really helps and it does show that um, you guys do like it and I don't mind if someone thumbs down or maybe they're just bots but it gives me a mixed reaction and see what I'm doing and um, yeah here's some um, quick selling stuff but um, we'll just leave this so I can talk a bit longer yeah uh, like the video as well so I can see if you like it or not and also subscribe if you're new please subscribe because I have started a new channel and it's so every I think I've got two new subscribers and thank thank you to you two uh, beautiful people because it makes it so much better knowing that people are liking my videos and here I do open one last pack but it's nothing special so I'm gonna leave you guys with this last pack and I'm gonna sign off here thank you guys once for watching again and I shall see you in my next videos Peace.